Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my challenge in week 21 of the Marguerite Miller Challenge, Collage Challenge. And um, I have been saying that it, when I got to week 21, which would be the halfway point, I would do a retrospective. Then I realized today 21 weeks is not halfway through the year, 26 weeks is. I'm still going to do the retrospective today, though, anyway, just because. Uh, so let's take a look at what we've got today. So we need something with wings, and I have here a set of wings from a snitch. If you are a Harry Potter fan, you know what a snitch is. And my daughter and her now husband got married last June, and they had a Harry Potter-themed wedding. They are both Ravenclaws, and on the table, one of the best things that they did, which I mean, they did a lot of really cute things, but one of the cutest things, I thought... They took Ferro Rocher, you know, the little, um, they're wrapped candies, chocolate candies, and they put a golden, the, the, the wings on top of each one of them, and they were at every place, so your favor was a golden snitch. It was just, it was adorable. Anyway, I have something with wings from her wedding. A math symbol, I'm going to, actually I have something under here, but I might draw something as well. Something silver. So I have this paper that's been hanging around for a while. It's really cool paper. And I thought, well, I'll just, you know, tear a piece down because something torn is part of this. So I'll just tear a piece of this off. Then I discovered that the tear goes this way. And I thought, okay, never mind. So it didn't tear real well, but I do have a piece of silver for my... Uh, something silver. It's also for my something torn. Something that came in the mail is, I've got two things. Let me slide this off of here for a second. As my background, I, we just got the latest newsletter from our um, school board and big vote sign on it on May 21st. Everybody in New York State does their voting for their school districts. Um, I encourage you, if you're in New York State, please make sure you vote for the school budget and make sure you know what the issues are and what's going on with it. All too often what I see happens with a school vote, the problem is that of all the taxes that we pay, the only one that we really get to vote directly on is the school vote. And so a lot of people who feel their taxes are too high, they say, well, I'm going to vote that one down because it's the only one that I can control. And, and so I'm going to vote no on the school budget. The problem is schools are really strapped. They're, you are not. I worked in the school districts for over 40 years. And to, I'm going to be honest with you. I never once found a school district that was just spending money to spend money. Everything is tightly controlled, in, especially in this day and age. So um, they're not really trying to do, to, they're not really out to get you. They're just trying to do their job. So I'm going to encourage you to look at your issues, look at the, the things that are actually on the ballot, take a look at the budget and, you know, vote your conscience, but vote. Okay. PSA done. So what else we need? We need a black and white photo. And for that, I have Daniel Manning, who was in, this was a photo. I actually did a, a picture, a scan of it because I didn't want to break up the book. I don't have any old black and white photos that I'm willing to put into a collage book. They all are sentimental and have meaning to me. So I don't have any of those. But I do have this old, it's called the Argus Argus for at a, at when they they started publishing in Albany in 1813 and in 1913 they published basically a 100 year retrospective I took this photo out of there I scanned one of the pages and I took his pa his picture because I loved his mustaches so we have there and then of course something that came in the mail I also have an envelope here that came in the mail. So we're going to use the envelope as well. Now, this is very busy. So I have a piece of tissue paper that I'm actually going to put mostly over the top of it just to calm it down a little bit because that's pretty busy. And although I believe very firmly in the voting, I don't need it in my collage to be quite so bright. Or not, maybe bright's not the word active. 
it's an active picture. Very active picture. So I am just going to put a little tissue paper over the top. And that calms it down. And I don't care if it's wrinkled. In fact, the wrinkles add something to it. There. We've got a wrinkle right down the middle of it to just... And then this is a little much on the page, so we're going to just cut that right off. Oops, I'm cutting the page too. Well, that's all right. We'll trim up the page. There. All right. So let's put down now our um, envelope. I'm going to give this a little bit of aging. And this is also something torn, so this works. This works. It all works, right? So we're going to put this down. Right there. And yes, it makes a flap. Don't know if I'm going to use that or not. And then I'm going to put Daniel down here. Gotta love this picture. I love these pictures of these guys with these mustaches. And then because he is an angel, we're going to give him wings. And we'll put a little bit of silver here next to him. So I'm going to put the silver there. Yeah, I think I do. Uh, for this, I'm going to use a little Fabri-Tac because it is um, it's a really weird consistency, and I don't I don't think the glue stick is going to hold it. So I'm just putting a little bit of Fabri-Tac on it. I don't know if I'm even on camera for that part. Let's put you right here. So you have angel wings. And silver, because you're no longer with us, Daniel. So something with wings. Oh, a math symbol. And for that, I actually have a math symbol on here. That pen doesn't work anymore. Hang on. i got to get rid of that pen. Right here. 2.43%. That's what the tax increase is for us. Yes, of course our taxes are too high, but I believe in paying for the infrastructure and all of that. You know me. So, yeah, I'll vote yes on the school budget. They do have a hearing coming up. So if you, you know, that go to your hearings, go to your, your school budget stuff, get involved. Even if it's just listening to what they have to say. Okay, I said PSA done. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Sorry about that, guys. I just, I get, I think it's important. Okay. We'll put our list right up here. And I think we have everything done. Something with wings, a math symbol, something silver, something that came in the mail. I actually have two things, a black and white photo and something torn. This is torn and so is the side of that. All right, so let's go back to the beginning real quick. This particular book, this is my, there we go, my glue book, and it's getting thick. It's really getting thick. This is the part that is not used yet. This is the part that is. And um, something associated with water, a portion of a poem or a song you enjoy, and I put a Robert Frost quote in there. There's pattern paper, something usually kept cold, a light shade of blue, and an unusual symbol or shape. I'm not sure what... Oh, I guess I just did this part here. Something associated with water was my fish. I think that worked out all right. Okay, so this was another one. Um, I'm not going to read through them all. I'm just really looking at the... Uh, I like this one. This, the colors on this one work well. 
Well, it looks like a house in the garden outside the house. Yeah, this one works out okay. This one is a mishmash. This one doesn't really have... Um, yeah, this is this is just a mishmash. Um, this one is also a bit of a mishmash. I don't know that it hangs together so well. I liked this one because this one had some personal pieces to me. I had a picture of my kids when they were little um, because that was supposed to be a, a photo of your family or a family member and that was my kids when they were little. And that's my my husband's show. Yeah, this one I like this I like this one not so much for its composition but because of the images in it. This one's not bad. Okay, we got this piece in here. Uh, it's a little bit busy with the stamping that I tried to do on it, so I don't not so sure about that one. This is interesting. I don't know that it's so much. It's okay. This one also. I kind of like, again, the black and white in this one. I wish I had chosen for the background a black and white calendar. I think I would have liked that better. Oh, uh, this one was a, yeah, this one's a, not so much. I've used Monopoly money before, obviously. That's okay. That's a lot of purple. I like this one. This one has some movement to it. Um, yeah. I like that one. This one's not bad either. It's got some thought to it. This one is a little messed up. Those are supposed to be hanging down. And it's supposed to be that way. I like the colors on this one. I think the colors came together really nicely on that one. This one is... I don't like this one. This one was... I didn't think that one worked at all. I'm not even going to spend any time on that one. This one is one of my favorites. Because... Alfred Hitchcock brings it all together. Um, it was a, a, basically a whole bunch of stuff, but you have the hawk. I know a hawk from a handsaw, the Hamlet quote, the, the, inf the introduction, the table of contents here about Hamlet and about the hawk, but the birds and the turkey with Alfred Hitchcock and all the birds so you're bringing Shakespeare and Hitchcock together on this page. I really liked this one. I had fun with that one. I thought this one was okay. Um, I'm, I don't like the stamps that I ended up using, but I did use my panda again. It's the second time I used my panda. Here I used the whole page, I think, before I cut out and just used the panda. This was... Uh, Two weeks ago, eh, it's okay. You got a great big empty spot here. So Needs something in that empty spot. Maybe a stamp or something. And then, oops, week twenty. I I do the. I have these two pages out of order, so I have to. I can take it apart and fix it later. So this was okay. Um, I really liked putting him looking at the money. I think that worked okay. I liked, I basically, I like this half of the collage. This half was just there because I needed those things added in. And then this week's. So there we go. That is my Marguerite Miller challenge for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And please join me next week. We'll get on to week 22. If you're enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click like to let YouTube know that you are enjoying them. And if you want a notification for when the next one comes out, just click on that bell. In the meantime, have a great weekend. And this is Cindy signing off.